Today we're at day five, and originally the plan was our flight left at four o'clock, so we were going to check out the hotel by 11, pretty much go straight to the airport, but got an email last night that Sunwing postponed the flight three and a half hours, so now the flight leaves at 7.30, but we still have to check out from the hotel by 11, so we uh, the hotel's holding on to our bags, so that's nice, and uh, Decided just to go to the beach, but now the sky is looking a little bit ominous. But so far no rain or thunder or lightning or anything like that, so we'll see how long that holds off. Uh, maybe we'll find something to do. Maybe we'll just keep sitting on the beach. Who knows? Day five. Uneventful so far. Ominous clouds have decided to move in on us and make for some beautiful beach going weather. Wonderful. Early lunch it is. So earlier I said that we got an email last night saying that our uh, Sunwing flight was delayed uh, three and a half hours, which I thought was a little ridiculous, but uh, they postponed from 4 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., which meant that we had to check out of the hotel 11 a.m. and then just went and chilled on the beach and waited for time to pass uh, so we could get on the flight for 7.30, but we, uh, as we were here about to call the taxi to go over to the airport, well, we got another email that said our flight is now postponed until 8.45 a.m. tomorrow morning. So they are currently working on getting us a, another free night stay. I don't know if it's gonna be at this hotel or a different hotel or what, but uh, they're working on it and we just get another day at the Bahamas. Um, we're gonna have to, as long as the flight doesn't get rescheduled again, we'll be, um, getting up bright and early and have to uh, get picked up around 6 a.m. to get over to the airport, which is gonna be gross, but uh, we'll see, who knows. At this rate, it may be delayed again till noon. So after waiting uh, in the hotel lobby for about two hours for Sunwing slash Vacation Express slash Nexus tours, I don't know how they're all connected. Uh, we finally got all got room keys and uh, I think we're supposed to get food vouchers too, maybe, maybe that's already in our thing, I don't know. Um, so anyway, we're up to our room. It's not quite as fancy as the suite, but here is hotel room number two for the uh, Bahama Adventure. Oh, old school CRT TV instead of the nice uh, smart <laughs> LCD. Nice. Nice. And let's see what our view looks like in this one. All right, still waterfront, kind of. <laughs> Tree front with, oh, there's the pool. We got pool waterfront. Still pretty excellent, but uh, this means that we have to wake up. Uh, shuttle leaves the hotel at 5 a.m. tomorrow, so we will be out bright and, well, not even bright. It'll still be dark and early. So for locking these sliding doors, this hotel uses this brilliant thing that's just a big post of wood at the bottom of the door. Now, unfortunately, we had this thing staying up vertical, and then when we closed the door to keep the air conditioning in, it fell. So we're currently locked out of our second hotel room, <laughs> but... The balcony is only a second story, so we're gonna make this an adventure. After yet another change, we are on the bus, finally. Hopefully, on the bus, go straight to on the plane. Enjoy getting a free extra day. But we couldn't do anything on that for yesterday because. <laughs> okay, now, like I said, this is the right side, this is the left side. If you guys know the question I'm gonna ask you guys, just let me know what side of the bus is sitting on. <laughs> Example, what's the name of the shop near across the street? What side of the bus are you sitting on? Oh, right side. That's one point for the right. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys ain't got nothing. <laughs> okay, how many aisles do we have make up the whole Bahamas? What side of the bus is it? Okay, how many rocks and keys? Rocks and keys are small islands you cannot live on. 2,000. 2,000, what side of the bus is it? Left. Left. Left, go! Left side of the bus! <laughs> Gentlemen, please stop at the seatbelt sign. Recommended to 
right, we have successfully made our way back to Pittsburgh, and uh, I'd say overall, the trip would get a four stars. I give it a four and a half stars. Four and a half stars. Uh, final review. I think the uh, the Groupon experiment was a uh, success overall. We made out like Bandit price wise, and uh, had a lot of fun while we were down there. And you just have to be have a flexible schedule and not be an angry person. <laughs> <laughs> and it all works out uh, to your benefit. Uh, the only reason it was four and a half stars is if we would have had a little bit more advanced notice for the, uh, the delays and stuff, the rescheduling, then we could have actually done something with our extra free day. I ate um, a beach red and was very satisfied with my beach reading. <laughs> She's, she's satisfied with sitting on the beach and reading books. Uh, I would have preferred to have an opportunity to schedule another scuba dive or something like that. But uh, So that's the only reason it was four and a half stars. Other than that, the hotel was awesome. Um, the options for getting a direct flight from Pittsburgh to the Bahamas is severely limited. So uh, Sunwing did what they could and made it work. It just kind of took some extra time. So four and a half stars out of five, not bad. Would do again and probably will do again. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of the Matt Phillips Adventure Vlog. If you enjoyed this adventure, make sure you give me a thumbs up down below to let me know. And if you want to be notified next time I go on an adventure, make sure you click subscribe down in the bottom right corner or down below this video. If you have any comments, ideas, suggestions, anything like that, make sure you leave it down in the comments. And uh, if you want to connect with me on any of the social networks, I'll put a row of buttons across the top for you to click on and down in the description. So find me on one of those and uh, let me know what you thought. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one.